I'm Jillian Raby and welcome to DT Daily. Coming up, everyone is watching to see if the iWatch will appear, Ridley Scott dishes on a sequel to Blade Runner, and if urban warfare is a problem where you live, BMW has you covered. Apple's annual fall product rollout party is almost here, and like you, we're hoping Cupertino will finally, finally grace us with their sure-to-be-fantastic iWatch wearable. There's no guarantee the mythical device will even appear alongside Apple's likely rollout of the iPhone 6 on September 9th. And if it does appear, no one except Apple knows what it will ultimately look like or what it will do. Good bets though, it will likely feature an array of biometric sensors for Apple's health kit and there's rabid speculation it could control a wide array of connected devices using HomeKit and maybe even your Apple TV. At least we hope it will. Only Tim Cook, Johnny Ive, and company know for sure, so tune in 10 days from now for the big reveal. It's the science fiction icon that's up there with 2001 in terms of fan loyalty, philosophical debates, and re-releases. And to think it was a bit of a flop when it came out. We're talking about Blade Runner, of course, and director Ridley Scott says a sequel is in the works. In an interview with Entertainment Weekly, Scott, who is now 76, says a sequel screenplay written by original Blade Runner writer Hampton Fancher is done and, quote, it's damn good. But questions remain. Will Harrison Ford reprise his role as Deckard? Will Vangelis contribute another otherworldly score? And when will it get made? Scott says a script for the sequel to Prometheus is also in the can, and he's still got to finish making The Martian with Matt Damon. Does your daily commute to the market and soccer practice include dodging armed street gangs, skirting chaos, and triple-digit freeway speeds? Hey, ours too! That's why we're saving our nickels for this, an armored BMW X5 SUV. The upgrade comes straight from BMW, and it's called the X5 Security Plus. It's tough to tell the difference from the outside. Suffice to say, it's sports armor plating and bulletproof glass that can fend off rounds from an AK-47. It's also packing 449 horsepower for those quick getaways. How much will it cost? Well, no price was quoted by Autocar, but suffice to say, if you're important enough to need an armored car, you can probably afford it. And that's it for DT Daily today. We'll be back next week. Have a great weekend.